Hello guys and gals, and welcome to the last episode of Upgraded Sets. This is the last one. I'm I, I'm I'm pretty sure I checked my numbers twice, because, you know, sometimes I do this and I'm like, it's the last one, and I'm like, you know what, I made a mistake last episode. Wasn't the last one, this was really the last one. You know, guys, this was the... This is the last one, I'm sure this time. I hope. Anyway, you're looking at Naj's, uh, Naj's set. It is a very interesting set, and it's a very pretty set, as you can see. Uh, the staff is quite striking. Uh, the the uh, head of the staff is quite striking. The helmet piece is very pretty looking. Uh, the armor is very pretty looking, honestly. And, uh, and, of course, this is on a sorceress. It looks different on various characters. But um, we're going to go through the process of taking a look at this set, what it could be useful for, and uh, whether or not we can upgrade it. Um, of course, it also has some changes in the 2.4 patch notes, and, uh, and we're going to take a look at that as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the set, and we'll talk about each piece, piece by piece. Get it? Piece by piece? <laughs> so uh, first off, we have Naj's Puzzler Elder Staff. Now, Naj's Puzzler Elder Staff is 200 to 234 damage. It's actually pretty high. Uh, we have a uh, 37 dexterity requirement, 44 strength, which is common among staffs. They tend to be rather low on requirements. And I do believe this is an elite staff, which means it's not upgradable. Uh, we have level 78 requirement on this, which is massively high, so it's very end game. Uh, it has plus one to all skills, 30% faster cast rate, uh, which is definitely very nice for anyone who wants to use it as a caster item. Unfortunately, by the time you reach level 78, it, this tends to be rather useless in those terms. Uh, it has 150% enhanced damage on it, which is probably the reason why it has such high damage. Uh, it has 6 to 45 lightning damage, uh, which is rather useless at level 78. Uh, 35 to energy, which is a pretty big bonus to your mana pool. Uh, 70 to mana, which is again another big bonus to your mana pool. And then we have a 50% damage bonus to undead, uh, which functions very similarly to might aura. And then we have level 11 teleport charges. I don't even know why it's level 11, because it doesn't matter, because it's a charge, it doesn't cost any mana, and teleport, the only thing that matters when it comes to level is how much mana it costs. So the higher the level, the less mana it costs, but it doesn't cost you any mana when it's a charge, so... And it has 69 charges. Lol. Uh, so basically, when you find this staff, the reason why you want to hold on to this staff is literally just because it is a teleport item. Um, you can utilize this on a large array of characters for free teleports, 69 teleports in fact. And, uh, and it has faster cast on it, so it will actually speed up the cast of your teleports, as you can see. And, uh, and we're going to drain all the tar charges real quick, because I want to see how much gold it costs to repair the entire charges on this staff. And, uh, and we're almost there. As you can see, it's quite a lot of charges, and you can do quite a lot with this staff. 69 charges is a lot more than, for instance, an amulet, which usually has around 30 charges. Um, so, you know, we're, we're at least double. And, of course, once you run out, that's it. You, uh, you don't get to do anything else. I really want to kind of bonk somebody with this staff, though. It's got some nice damage on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be able to hit anything, though. That's the problem. I've got no attack rating. 57% chance. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look and see what kind of, uh, of damage this is going to cost us to repair. Because this is, a, uh, of course, a consideration when you're thinking about using this as your temporary teleport item. Hi there. So, uh, Nash's Puzzler. One... What, 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 what? Does it say one million? I'm pretty sure that says one million. One million three hundred forty-four thousand... 1,344,000? So there is an easier way to do this, by the way. Um, if you want to repair this and recharge it at the same time, um, the easiest way to do this, um, if I remember correctly, is to use either a Rail Rune or a... Uh, I'm trying to remember here. Repair and Recharge Weapon D2. Uh, so it is a uh, chipped gem of any kind. I remember. I always remember that. So it's an ort rune and a chipped gem of any kind. So you need an ort rune and a chipped gem of any kind, and you put the item in the cube uh, with the ort rune and the chipped gem, and it will repair the charges. Um, so that's a, it's an interesting way that you could uh, deal with this rather massive cost. But unless you want to go that route. 
you're going to have to uh, repair it the good old-fashioned way, which is going to be expensive. Oh, Lord, that was expensive. Uh, that's a lot of cost per, uh, per, re per repair there. I would definitely go the ort and chipped gem method. So you might want to hang on to your chipped gemmies and your ort runes. Um, we also have Naj's Circlet, which is 105 defense, 12% chance to cast level 5 Chain Lightning when struck, which I don't even have to look up. It's about 80 damage, and it's 6 targets. Um, I actually looked up this up earlier on another item. They seem to love the level 5 Chain Lightning. So it's about 80 damage for 6 targets. So it's going to go back and forth 6 times, and it's going to do 80 damage, 1 to 80 damage, about, about every single time. And, uh, and it's a little decent uh, extra bonus damage, but it's windstruck, so you got to get yourself beat up for it. So uh, it's not really worth it. It also adds 25 to 35 fire damage, uh, 75 to defense, 15 to strength, which is nice to help you equip items and could be useful for a mercenary to get him the extra strength he needs to utilize, uh, for instance, a, um, a Colossus Vulture. And uh, he also has a plus 5 light radius on this item, which uh, it's not a very good circle, honestly. In many regards, I think Naja's circle is probably the worst piece of this set. Uh, pretty much bar none. Then we also have Naja's light plate Hellforge plate, which is an elite item as well. Um, and this item is 830 defense, uh, 79 strength requirement, uh, level 71. It has plus 1 to all skills, 300 defense, 65 to life, 25 all resistances, which is kind of nice to have those all resistances on there, as well as the life. 45% uh, damage taken goes to mana, which is pretty massive. If you guys are unaware of how damage taken goes to mana works, uh, let me do explain. So if I have 100 damage to my health pool, um, and uh, I have 45% damage taken goes to mana, uh, let me actually put myself in the middle for, for demonstration purposes. So if I have 100 damage to my uh, life pool, which is over here, um, I will take 100 damage to this life pool. Um, and then if I have 45% damage taken goes to mana, I will gain 45 mana All right, to my mana pool. However, I will still take 100 damage to my life pool. That's the way that damage that goes to mana works. And, uh, and it only uh, really works with... Um, a damage that goes to the life pool. So if you're rocking uh, energy shield, for instance, uh, energy shield actually uh, intercepts damage going to your life pool and t sends it to your mana pool instead. So unless the damage reaches your mana, your life pool, there's absolutely no way for the damage taken goes to mana to give you any effect. Let me give you an example. If you have 95% damage take, or sorry, uh, energy shield and Energy Shield is absorbing 95% of all damage coming in, then only 5% of the damage is making it to your health pool. So if you have, for instance, uh, 100 damage coming in, 95% of 100 is 95, and then you have 5 damage go going to your health pool, and 45% of 5 is how much mana you'll get back. Not very effective, right? Um, and that's unfortunately the way that, um, that damage taken goes to mana works. And that's why when you have really, really high energy shield, it doesn't really work very well. But if you don't have max energy shield, it can actually be pretty helpful. Um, this armor also has negative 60% requirements, which is why it's only 79 strength for a Hellforge plate. Hellforge plates are pretty beast items. So uh, it definitely uh, could needs that, that negative 60% requirements. Uh, we also get a two-piece bonus of 175 to defense. And a new bonus, which has only just been added, of 148% magic find. Um, and this is based on character level. So it is 1.5 per character level up to level 99, which is uh, 148 at level 99. Now, of course, to get this effect, you need to have at least two pieces on. And the lowest level pieces that you can possibly put on are Naja's Light Plate and Naja's Circlet. Uh, Naja's Circlet is level 28, and Naja's Light Plate is level 71. So those are your lowest level items, and at level 71, uh, if we ran that on a calculator, we would get 71 times 1.5, which is 106% magic find. You could also theoretically put a Perfect Topaz in the helmet, uh, and a perfect topaz in the armor, which would get you another plus 24, and then plus 24. So uh, so that would be, what, 154% uh, magic find uh, at level 71 when you could put this on. Um, you could also theoretically um, wear the weapon as well, and, uh, and you could get 
another like maybe an Istrune or something in there, just so you could have all the bonuses. I'm not exactly sure what could potentially be worth that magic find, um, especially if you were a higher level character, like say you were more along the lines of um, like level 93, which is pretty pretty uh, easy to obtain, I feel like. So level 93 times 1.5 is going to be 139% uh, magic find. Uh, plus the 24% in the circlet, plus the 24% in the armor. You're looking at 187% magic find from a two-piece bonus, uh, which is not bad at all. 187% magic find is a lot of magic find. Um, and if we compare that to... Uh, let's see, we'd have to compare that to, what, a Scalder's Ire and a... Uh, an Isted Shaco or something, or a perfect, a perfect Topaz Shaco. So perfect Topaz Shaco is uh, is 75, right? So plus 75, and then Scalder's Ire with a perfect Topaz in it. Uh, let's see, can't remember the exact numbers right off the top of my head. Um, so probably about a hundred percent magic find or 124 percent magic find for the uh, Scalder's Ire. So plus. 124. So we're looking at 199 if you had a Shaco and a Scalders. So it it actually is kind of on par with a Scalder and Shaco as far as the magic find percentage is concerned. Um, you do get plus one to skills. You do lose plus two, obviously, for the helmet because you're not getting the uh, the bonus there from the Shaco. But you might not have a Shaco yet. Nodges circlets are really easy to come by. And honestly, um, I find Nodge's uh, light plates pretty often, too. Um, it could very well be that early ladder, you might be um, hurting for Magic Find equipment. And it's happened before. It's happened to me before. Um, and maybe you find a Nodge's light plate and a Nodge's circlet, and you want to put those two piece bonuses on for the Magic Find. I could see that. It's not terrible. That would not be a terrible thing. So we can upgrade um, the circlets. So that's also something we can explore later. Um, but let's talk about the uh, full bonus here. So the full bonus has been changed a little bit, and uh, we're going to have to go over those changes. Um, so right off the bat, you'll see that we have plus one to all skills. So uh, with the plus one to all skills on the armor, we're looking at plus two to all skills. Uh, we also have plus two to fire skills, and this has been added. So the armor now gives a total of plus four to fire skills and plus two to all skills, which is definitely very nice. Um, that's quite a big bump, in my opinion. We also have 175 to defense on this, uh, plus 20 to strength, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly you would equip. You know, considering it's taking up all the high strength slots, um, it really only leaves the belt, the gloves, and the boots. <laughs> uh, we have plus 15 to dexterity, which is not going to help you with blocking, because, well, you obviously are not blocking anything without a shield. Um, I suppose this set is kind of geared around trying to actually make you hit things, because it does have a relatively high damage of 200 to 232 on the weapon. Uh, we also have a uh, increase to maximum life of 12%, a replenish life of plus 20, uh, 100 to mana, all resistance is 50, and of course the 148% magic find. Now, uh, I'm looking at this set, and I'm looking at what it gives you. Um, the damage taken goes to mana, the, um, the relatively high damage on the weapon combined with the uh, faster cast and things like that. And you know what it really kind of points me toward it really makes me think of a fire claw druid i mean we've got fire skills we've got plus four basically to fire skills right we've got uh, a really high damage two-handed weapon um which seems to be kind of designed to actually hit things and then we also have uh, dexterity and strength which of course are also going to be uh, helpful in hitting things we've got maximum life which is going to help you if you're in there in the thick of it we've got uh, replenish life which is also going to help you a pretty decent amount of resistances um, the damage tank goes to mana is also going to help you uh, as far as resistances are concerned i feel like the the resistances on this are pretty massive um, we've got 50 to all we also have 25 to all on the plate so that's 75 to all from three pieces um, is there any other resistances on this besides that? I guess not. So just 75 to all res. 
uh, which sets me at 5% in Hell difficulty, uh, which I'd have to get the rest of my resistances from other places. I, I, it really seems like this set is pointed now at a Fire Claws Druid. That's, that's really what it seems like. Um, I don't know if they specifically set it up that way, but with the fire skills on it, with the high damage on the weapon, uh, with the the effects that it has going for it, it really seems like that's the direction they kind of pointed it. And a lot of interesting things going on here. And if you're curious to what they changed, so they added the magic find based on character level. Um, they increased the replenish life from 10 to 20 on the full set. They added plus two fire skills on the full set, and they also added increases maximum life 12% on the full set. So uh, it's a very interesting bonuses here. Uh, we can upgrade the circlet, by the way. Um, so the circuit, I believe, upgrades into a tiara. Uh, so we're going to go from 105 defense with a shale, a talent, a perfect diamond to uh, 105 uh, defense level 28 to a uh, 118 defense tiara, so not really a great upgrade there, and level 57 requirement now. Um, and we can upgrade this one more time into a, uh, a diadem. Uh, maybe we do it just for uh, just for looks, just to really make it uh, stand out. It does change the way that it looks, I believe. Or does it? It doesn't even look like it's changing the way it looks. That's odd. Um, and we can upgrade this to the Diadem, which is uh, uh, 118 defense, 57, to uh, 135 defense, level 76. I mean, I guess if you were actually going to use this endgame, even if it was just for the fun of it, maybe you built a character around Naj's just because you wanted to. I mean, upgrading the circle might make sense in that situation, but the defense increase is so minimal. I just can't really see upgrading that circlet uh, for any reason other than, than I'm using the set. And that's, that's all there is to it. And I do it all the time. I am guilty of it. I am extremely guilty. I will pick an item and I will be like, I'm building a character around this item. And people are like, you know you would be better if you use this item. And I'm like, shut up. And you're like, you know you could probably use this item instead. And I'm like, be quiet. You know you could use this item if you wanted to you know, get this effect. And then you could, it would be so much better. And I'm like, look, dude, I'm using this item. Shush it. You know, if that was the case, I could see upgrading. But, um... Other than that, I really can't. Uh, maybe you're using it for the uh, specifically for the two-piece magic find bonus. In that case, maybe you could upgrade it one tier, uh, get a little tiny defense bonus. It's, I mean, it, one the first tier upgrade is so cheap that most people have those ruins laying around everywhere. So I mean, I, I don't really know what to say uh, about that. But this, the third tier upgrade, of course, is not worth it at all. <coughs> I don't really know what to say about this set. I mean, this is useful as a teleport staff. Um, now uh, all the pieces are technically useful as uh, as magic find equipment. Um, I mean, if you look at it from a perspective of 148% uh, of magic find, uh, the higher level you get, obviously, the better it is. But um, could very easily be socketed. You could throw something in it. You could utilize it for more magic find. I mean, Naj's has plus one to skills. Skulders has plus one to skills. So it's very uh, analogous. Skulders does not have all resistances 25. It does not have 65 life. And it does not have 45% damage taken goes to mana. So in many ways, Naj's light plate is a little bit better than Skulders. Um, unfortunately, to get the magic find that would make it equivalent to Skulders, you have to wear this boopy thing. And... Um, <laughs> this is where things go go south. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I feel like this is a this is a, a very fun little fire claw set. You could you could play around with a fire claw druid on this. I feel like that's that's something that this could be uh, useful for. Of course, I have it on a sorceress, but uh, but still. Uh, and I'm not leaving this video until I at least bonk one thing to death. So I'm going to Nightmare Difficulty to do the bonking. Y'all can't tell me what to do. I'm bonking something. We're 19 minutes into the video, and I'm going to go bonk something in, uh, in freaking Bloodmore. Who's the lucky uh, person who's going to get bonked? Where you at? What's your What's your name? You got a, You got a name? Oh, it's a Spike Fiend. Hello, Spike Fiend. Bonk! <laughs> Bonk! 
What's up, buddy? Bonk. That's right. 701 to 857 damage, boys. Man, the damage spread on that is just, like, sexy as all get out, though, isn't it? There's only a 32-point damage spread on that weapon. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but Naj's is looking uh, looking mighty sexy these days. It's definitely a lot better than it used to be. Um, I have another video up where I talk about Naj's, and, uh, and I was less than impressed. And this time, I'm a little bit more impressed, which is definitely nice. I mean, it's still not, like, best-in-slot endgame equipment. Um, and unfortunately, the level requirement on it is very high. But uh, it is only a three-piece set, and, uh, and they did add some very nice bonuses to it. So... Uh, Tell me what you think about this set down in the comments. I'm interested to hear uh, what you guys are thinking uh, that that magic find could be useful for. Do you think it could be useful for on Fireclaw Druid? Uh, do you think uh, it could be useful on anybody else? Um, let me know what you think. I mean, in total, we've got plus one to skills on the staff. We've got plus one to skills on the, uh, on the armor. We've got plus one to skills on the set bonus, so that's plus three. And then we have plus two fire skills uh, that it's been added, so we've got plus six... Or sorry, plus five fire skills. So one, two, three, four, five, plus five to fire skills, which is pretty darn sweet. And plus three to all skills. Um, I mean, that's a lot of plus to skills on a three-piece bonus set. Now, granted, it does consume your shield, so you might as well call it a four-piece bonus set. Unfortunately, anything that consumes your shield slot has to be um, considered in that regard. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you uh, watching my videos, uh, even when it is about Naj's ancient vestige. And as always, keep watching.